there, my name is Love Spuds and welcome to F1 2012 and today we are doing the Champions Mode. I shall be attempting all six scenarios plus the ultimate test which includes Kimi Raikkonen, the Iceman Returns, Lewis Hamilton, Jensen Button, Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Schumacher and the ultimate challenge. So, let's get started with Kimi Raikkonen, the Iceman Returns. He is ahead of us, and we have to pass him before the end of the race. And there is the man himself, or the virtual man. Never talks, never talks. Of course he doesn't. He's not one for the media. That's why he's such a cool guy. Tells it like it is. Just about to start the final few laps of this thrilling race at Spa is Kimi Raikkonen in a modest seventh position. He's been complaining of tyre trouble all weekend. There goes his teammate in the sister Lotus Renault. He's behind, but on a brand new set of option tyres. I think he might actually work his way up and into the points. And at this rate, challenge Kimi. I think we're in for a dramatic few laps. Right then, so here we are, DRS enabled, of course it is, it's lap 41 of 44, three laps to go, and I have to pass, catch and pass, can we ripen them, we're starting in 13th, and we need to get up to 7th, slow moving cars in the way, let's try and cut back on them, get a good run out of here, use up the rest of my curves, or as much as I can, and we're already up to 12th, so next to, on the list is Hulkenberg, go up the inside on the source, Nicely done, if I don't say so myself. Right, flicking up to Rich Mixture. Uh, I have... Um, I should have enough. <laughs> if I don't, I'll soon find out. That's not the way to take Eau Rouge. But, um, hey-ho, we survived. So, Hulkenberg's probably got a DRS on us. He's not going to have enough time to catch up. We uh, latch onto the back of Duresta. Next man in our sights. As I say, I'll be doing all these champions mode, and they'll all be on my channel. As you might have already guessed, <laughs> this one will probably be on the channel today, which is Saturday. Oh, am I going to make a move? No, not quite. All oh, gone a bit wide here. It's cost me a bit of time, I'm going to have to make ground up to the rest of her again. Still got time, not panicking just yet. We are on hard difficulty, so uh, I don't entirely know what that means. I don't know what setting the, the AI is on. But um, I assume it's the hardest it can go in the Champions mode. Unfortunately, damage is off uh, in this mode, which is kind of weird. But... Um, Never mind, it is sort of an arcadey version, so. Or oh, arcadey, uh, arcadey mode. So, what can you do? Oh, nearly. nearly causing an accident. Um. I don't know if I overtook him on the yellow flag conditions, but I don't know if you actually. um. get penalised for it. Um. if someone knows the answer, then they're free to tell me in the comments. On the inside of. Massa. Oh yes, Massa was Massa was eighth. So in the last um, last couple of corners and the pit straight, we've already jumped up to eighth position. We just need one more, and that's Raikkonen up ahead. We have this lap and the next lap to do it in, so we're quite comfortable. Massa's trying to come back, but uh, doesn't have enough straight to make a move. So closing in on the back of Kimi nicely here. No, that's not Kimmy. Of course it's not Kimmy. Wow, I'm blind this morning. <laughs> Kimmy's just a bit further on up the road. 
It's alright, he's, he's in within, um, uh, at least we can see him. I don't know why I mistook that Marisha for a K, uh, not Caterham. Wow. I am tired. Please excuse me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the Lotus is up ahead of my teammate. Uh, I'm doing my best to catch up to him. I feel more confident on this circuit than I did with uh, F1 2011. I don't know what it is. Maybe the car just sticks better or goes around the corners better. But I feel more confident that I can fly out around the high speed corners and actually catch up to people. So um, when I come across it in my career, maybe that will, um, maybe I'll actually improve my qualifying times uh, from 2011. And this Lotus feels absolutely wonderful as well. I don't know if it's uh, a special setup or if it's just a standard setup, but it feels amazing to drive. It feels really comfortable. I suppose new tyres help as well, but I don't entirely know if tyre simulation is actually on. But can we make a... Can we do... Oh, no, we can't. Not quite close enough for a move around Eau Rouge. But we're very, very close. We can get the DRS on Reichman. We're going to make our move now. We've opened the DRS in the slipstream. Going on on the inside. He tried to close the door, but it just... He, uh, he uh, left the room nicely for me to get past. And there we are, we've taken Raikkonen now, we just need to hold it together for the final few um, sectors. S sector 2 and 3. Piece of advice I've never actually heard before from the engineer. Um, to change the brake balance to, uh, to the front. Um, I'm quite comfortable with it being at um, neutral at the moment, so... Um, the engineer can go swivel on that information. But yeah, um, the uh, the uh, first part of my career should be up on the Phaser Athletics channel. Um, as soon as I know where it is, or as soon as I know it's up, I'll put an annotation and a link in the description linking you to it, and I'll put it into my F1 2012 playlist, so hopefully you guys can find it easily. And yeah, we got our career underway. We've done the Young Drivers Tests. And now, that, and uh, after this, after the one that's going up on Phaser today, um, it'll be race one at Melbourne. Uh, I mean, overall, I'm impressed with the game. So uh, let's see if um, I remain happy with the game all the way through the career, because I haven't had a race yet properly. So um, we'll see how it goes. So anyway. Lost Buzz finishes seventh, gained six positions, and most importantly, beat Kimi Raikkonen. With drivers always comparing their performances with their teammates, it's probably not been a good day for Kimi Raikkonen, as his fellow Lotus driver was able to get past him before the end of the race. Indeed. So here's a replay of the move on Kimi. Starting the lap, coming round to La Source. Gonna go down the straight, uh, or bent straight up to Eau Rouge. I'm liking these camera angles, especially that one and the one to Eau Rouge. Looking very nice. You can see how close I am to the back of Kimi there. Almost looks like one car going over that shot. And here's that. Here's the move. DRS is open. Flying past the camera there. And me on the inside just moving in to the apex. And move is done. And that's how I dispatched Kimi. Like that's like I like that camera angle as well. Beautiful. So there you go. There's the results, and that is the gold medal for the Iceman Returns Challenge. This champions mode is quite fun. It's good, um, good for like, uh, like sort of a. It's kind of a quick race that's over in like uh, five or ten minutes or so. So it's a good little thing if you've got if you're short on time and want a quick go of the game uh, and want an objective to do. So it's pretty cool and a trophy for it's the taking part that matters definitely.
So, and as we uh, come to the loading screen, all that remains to me to do is to say goodbye, and we'll be back with the next challenge, which is Lewis Hamilton, the Past Master. I'll see you next time.